Well, b before I begin, I was just wondering who just did the, uh, the presentation by Juke Spear, who was present over there? Okay, he just messed up my presentation because now I have to stand on, on, on the right side to, to talk into your left eye for the statistics <laughs> and then I have to talk, be here for creativity and he just made, messed up my mind so I'm just going to walk around a little bit which was also prohibited. Well, and I stare at you for three seconds right now so you get my message right. <laughs> I'm not going to remember all of that. I just do my presentation. I also wasn't allowed to make a joke in the start of a presentation, which I always do to break down my nerves a little bit. And I'm always a little bit scared to talk in front of people. So I make a joke, but that's also not allowed in a presentation. So actually we get to the boring stuff. <laughs> we just go slide by slide by slide. Well, well I don't, no, that's not really my way of presenting. I just uh, tell my story. Um, like I said, I don't like to speak in front of people, I hate presentations, uh, but I like to talk about Joomla and especially the certification program and the reason why I joined the certification team is uh, that I was so tired of uh, hearing at, at parties, at business conferences that Joomla was a stupid system and the other system, which name we do not mention, was much better and easier to use well, I, I don't agree, but I think uh, a lot of Joomla websites are made by people, uh, as we call it, a nephew at the attic, uh, having some spare time, doing a little bit of web design, and well, those kind of people, uh, they ruin the reputation of Joomla. And I was so sick of that. Just hearing all the stories, and which, which weren't true, because Joomla is safe. You, you can use Joomla for SEO, you can build a fast website, but you just have to know which button to press. So then I heard of a certification program and I was really happy it, 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 was, um, it was founded because then I had a purpose to, um, to break down the stories of the nephews I heard. Um, so, now I'm going to start my presentation. Question one of the exam. Oh no, let's, let's, let's do this. That's later today, sorry. Now, it's just to give you an impression because I always get questions, how does the exam look like, what is it? So instead of doing it at the end, working to a climax, I just do it in the beginning. Just give you some information. Yes. All right. There we go. <clears throat> it's just to give you a glimpse of the exam system. I'll come back to it later. But now you've seen it, now you know what we're talking about. Technology is fair. Okay. But first of all, who, who never heard of this certification program before this event? Oh, that's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to shoot you. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, who already tried to do an examination? <laughs> That's okay. That's a good corner over there. I did the demo. You did the demo? Yeah. And you passed, of course. Yeah. So that's a good start. When you know how to write Joomla, you can... Yeah. yeah. Um, but the certification program is a program to establish a certain standard. So we have people that actually know how to work with Joomla. And that's very important, yeah? like the example I just gave you. And it also provides a document, documented measurement of knowledge. So you, you can show to other people, look, I have a badge, I have a certificate, and I actually know what I'm talking about. And that creates a group of people which we really need to build up uh, confidence in Joomla again. So people can build uh, great websites. It doesn't mean that if you're not certified, you can't build websites. That's not true. But at least now you can prove you know Joomla because you did the exam. <clears throat> like I said, you can receive a badge and just for fun, uh, I wore a t-shirt yesterday with a badge on it and people were asking, well, what is it, what, what, how, to, how to get it, so I can explain some things about that. Well, a t-shirt isn't clickable, so <laughs> everybody can put an image on a t-shirt, on a website, on a flyer, um, but the thing is, um, there's something below it says click to verify. Every badge you put on a website goes to a profile page on the official Joomla website. So people can actually verify if someone is certified. And 
Well, there are always people that try to cheat and put just the image on the website. Um, but we have to tell other people it should be clickable. And if it's not, it's not a valid thing. <coughs> so why certification? Well, I was glad the, the, uh, the project was founded. Um, but we didn't think uh, for a certification program just from in uh, OSM, for example. But there was a survey in 2012 and people were asked, well, what do you think Joomla needs in the future? And one of the main topics was certification. So it's not invented by OSM, but it's uh, actually uh, uh, to answer the question from uh, the, the, the community to have such a thing. So there's a lot of people, you know, some of them, I guess. But that's why we started the certification program. <coughs> Well, especially at, an, at uh, an event like this, where it's sometimes more technical than at a regular Joomla day or a Joomla user group meeting. So, um, I've included these exams. At this moment, we only have the administrator exam. Um, but we're also talking about developer exam and a template exam. But it's really difficult to say, okay, here does development start and here does it end. Uh, it's a little bit easier for administrating, um, so we're still working on that, but for now we have the administrator exam, and the exam will be in English for now. Uh, we are working on exams in uh, multiple languages, like Polish, uh, Stefan is going to help us uh, with that, so thanks very much. Uh, and the first exam we will translate will be French, because French is spoken in 23 other countries in the world. Uh, and besides English, we have uh, a, a, a lot of potential for people to get certified. <coughs> so for now, it's still in English. For some people, that's a problem. Um, I don't know, J just raise some hands if you think English is very difficult for you in an exam. Nobody, great. So we don't need translations. We do everything in English. Sorry, Stefan. <laughs> Uh, no, but we will do it in English. We will do it in all uh, 68 languages or so. So we'll just do the, the, the big languages. Uh, Swahili. Swahili, yeah, yes, it should be. It should yeah, be in Swahili. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're volunteering for Swahili? Just okay. remember, remember the Jumba words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that is not a question, I think, what it means. Who knows? Yeah. I've got mind <laughs> So then, uh, how, how does it, uh, uh, where can, when can you use uh, certification? Well, the validity <coughs> is for every uh, major version. So now we have certification for Joomla 3. Um, so when you do an exam for, or when you did an exam for 3.6, it's still valid for 3.7, 3.8. And it's just focusing on the Joomla core. And that's also uh, a, a misconception by a lot of people. Say, okay, I work with Joomla for 10 years and I know everything about it. Am I ready for the native uh, language? <coughs> they don't build uh, multilingual websites as much as other people. So they have a disadvantage in multilingual websites. So it balances. So there's, there's not a real advantage or disadvantage for people from England, America, or any other country who, who, who doesn't speak English. <coughs> <coughs> so, how to prepare? Like I said, <coughs> um, some people use Joomla for 10 years and they can do, just do the exam because they have the confidence. If you don't have the confidence, you can go to the certification website <coughs> where we give some more advice about the topics and subtopics about it. But the main thing uh, is docs.joomla.org. Every question of the exam uh, is traced back to the docs.joomla.org website because we don't uh, make up questions uh, of which you can't find an answer. Every answer of every question in the exam can be found on docs.joomla.org. So, <coughs> who works with, with Joomla more than five years? Eight years? Okay. <coughs> who visits docs.joomla.org every year? <laughs> That's not the same people. I use it a lot when I have to search for tips, tricks, to find a solution, maybe on 
the Nike version itself is <coughs> the dog. Yeah. Well, well, that's good. It's not a shame to use dogs. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it was a forum. Yeah. Because e even very experienced Joomla users um, sometimes go through the docs website and then they, they, did, they see things they didn't know. It's not that they are bad uh, website builders, but you can't know everything out of your head. So yeah. sometimes when you look at the documentation, you say, oh, yeah, that's right. Never used that feature, but I know it's in there. And uh, especially when you take the exam, uh, you're not allowed to, uh, to bring your books or any digital uh, device. So you have to do everything out of from your head. So when a question is asked, where can I switch off this or that, you have to know it by heart. So there's not always a screenshot. And there's not a website you can click on and say, oh, well, where was it? I should click here. No, 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 I should click on the next uh, tab. So you have to remember everything. And, and that's why the experience uh, is very much needed. <coughs> And then you can do some online study, but you can also uh, read uh, read some other books. You can watch some YouTube videos. There are a lot of resources, but I think the best one is docs.joomla.org. Then about the exam uh, itself, well, it surprises uh, some people that it's not an online exam. You can do it from your home, uh, like the Google AdWords uh, campaign. When you do an exam at Google, you can log in from your own computer. Nobody will check what resources you have besides it. And you can do your exam. So uh, it's recorded, so it's very difficult to do a confession. I'm also AdWord certified, but I didn't do it. Someone else clicked the buttons, and then I got the badge. And well, now I'm certified, but it doesn't have any value for me. And it also <laughs> has no value for my, my business uh, clients because I have a badge without the knowledge. And that's what we try to prevent with the Joomla exam. You have to be in a physical room without any help from devices, without any help from notes you made. You just have to know. And that's what represents the value of, uh, of the badge. You know things. You don't have to look it up. Uh, you don't have to cheat. You just do the exam and show you have all the skills. Uh, well, when we do an exam at, uh, at an event, people bring their own laptop. On the other hand, um, it's better to know for certain people cannot cheat. So the exam, uh, the safe exam browser, it just locks the computer. You cannot switch, you cannot uh, make screenshots, you cannot record anything. It's just totally locked. And there are two ways out of the exam, by uh, making the exam as a whole, um, or the supervisor can log out with a password after something happens. That's the only two options. So, but I advise to do the, the exam. Um, so there's, there's no really uh, a way out. Um, so wh what does it mean an exam? It means 60 questions, just random questions out of a, a bigger group of questions that are made. You have 90 minutes um, to complete the exam and you have to uh, um, have at least 80% right answers. And um, well, you can try after 30 days if you're not making it, but I have a lot of confidence in, in you all, so I'm sure we're all going to make the, the, the 80% uh, at this event. Well, at least that's my goal. <coughs> but if, you, if you're not making it, uh, well, you, you, you can try it uh, after 30 days or you can study some more. So we don't encourage people to do an exam every day and just click random to see if they can get the exam. <coughs> So where you, where you can do the exams? Um, well, mainly three uh, main parts. Joomla Learning Partners, Joomla Days, and Jux. I presume everybody knows what a Jux is. It's a Joomla user group. Uh, I don't know who, who visits a Jux a at least once a year. Oh, I expected more people to visit Jux. We should encourage them a little bit more. But also, uh, like I said, you can do the exam uh, in the next room uh, in a couple of hours. So if you have uh, enough courage, I will see you in the next room. Um, but most of the things, uh, most of the exams are done at uh, Joomla Learning Partners. They are certified to do exams. Uh, when you do an exam at a learning partner, they have to provide the computer. You pay uh, them the amount of money for the exam and you go to their location, which differs from the other locations. Uh, you also can do um, an exam at a JUG. When you do the exam, they request for one, it's approved, 
Then you bring your own laptop, go to the jug, do your exam over there, and a supervisor will walk around and help you to start the exam. Uh, which is also the same for the Joomla days, and uh, we consider a, a J and Beyond also a Joomla day. <clears throat> it's the same principle, you take your laptop, go sit in a room, a supervisor helps you, and you can do your exam. So those three options we have for doing exams. <clears throat> well, like I just said, uh, there's a little uh, uh, difference. Um, oh. There he is, the devil. <laughs> I screwed up your slides. Didn't yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. But fortunately, <laughs> but you missed my, my, my beginning, so I'm, I'm clear. I'm all good. Um, like I just said, well, you, you can bring your own uh, laptop, and uh, when you're paying the exam at a jug or at a Joomla uh, uh, day, you have to pay online, the money goes straight to uh, OSM, which helped them to do uh, even more to reach out to the community. Um, one thing I want to point out, uh, learning partners are not allowed to uh, charge extra money for an exam. Um, and I will show that also in the next sheet. Uh, because OSM thinks everybody should pay the same amount of money for an exam, and when you have an exam at the Joomla, uh, learning partner, they are allowed to charge you extra money if they offer an extra service like uh, a refreshing course, um, how to, co uh, which covers all the 10 topics uh, I just mentioned. <coughs> but it, it actually does exist and uh, it levels out the prices throughout the world based on a Big Mac because um, except like 8 or 10 uh, countries in the world, every country as a Big Mac. So when you know the price of a Big Mac in that country, you can uh, do some calculations and think, okay, in this country, an exam should be this cost. In another country, it should be more expensive or, or, or less. <coughs> um, so the, the, I thought the cheapest one was Taiwan, and they offer like $20. So if you want to have a really cheap exam. There was a cheapest one is $10. $10? Yeah. Wow. Oh. I saw on the list on the on the Okay. Side. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> Let's go there. Let's go there. <laughs> I, I think it's a country in South America. I don't remember. Okay. I don't know if it's Guatemala or something. Okay. Let's do some change. Flight ticket are too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> That should be nice. You're going to Guatemala to do your exams yeah. and sightseeing. And after, relax. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can relax when you pass, when you, yeah. when you fail, you have some bad days in yeah. Guatemala. So. But I think $35 isn't very uh, yeah, expensive. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, and, it, and it's fair in every country, so it, yeah. it, it levels. <clears throat> well, then I got some more stuff. Yeah, it's the country of the exam, not the country of the person. Yeah. Yes, that's right. So I was visiting from the United States. Have you have so much luck. Yeah. <laughs> This <laughs> <laughs> guy. Yeah, well, it, we can't do it on, on a person's base because someone's on. I heard a story yesterday about a, a person who was born in Nigeria and moved to Malaysia. And I also have team members that were born in one country and then moved to another and now work in an even other country. So, which, which price should we do for them? So. For the cheapest. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're from, from Holland. <laughs> Quite close. Quite close, okay. Because that's what we do, we, try, we try, always try to find the cheapest alternative. <laughs> um, but, but, but no, it's, it's, uh, I think there are fair prices. And when you uh, do an exam, you see something like this. This is a demo, so the questions are totally uh, not very interesting. I think everybody knows what uh, Swahili means, but it just gives you some uh, explanation of what it is. On, well, in this screenshot, it's still on the left side. They just recently moved it to the right side, but uh, you see questions. Uh, there will be 60 boxes, and there will be a counter. And when you start the exam, it starts at uh, 90 minutes, and then it counts down. So um, you don't have to look at your watch every time. It's, 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 it's over there. It's, it's tracks. Um, a thing uh, that you can also do with a question is flag them, as we mentioned. It. And there will be, uh, visually, there will be a, a, a 
corner in it, and it means you can go uh, through back to the question if you're not sure you know the answer or if you want to recheck it later. Um, so you can just click it and say, okay, it's a reminder for myself to double check it when I've done all the questions. Um, and you don't have, don't have uh, to start at question one. If you would like, you can start at uh, question number 60, then go to 43, 21, back to uh, the second one. So you can do whatever you want. Uh, but the boundaries are 60 questions in 90 minutes and do whatever you want. But you have to be finished within 90 minutes because otherwise you don't have a result. And, well, that's, we, we don't want that. So. <coughs> But my uh, experience is that most people are finished in about 45 minutes. And uh, some people just press uh, finish attempt and they leave the room. Other people will check and double check until like two minutes before the end and then they submit it. Uh, but it, it's what makes you feel comfortable, whatever you, you like uh, to do the exam. <coughs> and after the exam, you will get an instant uh, result. Um, it shows whether you have passed or not. The pass mark is 80%, and when it says 81, you're passed. When it says 79, you're not. <laughs> but you were close. Um, what we can do is, uh, is give you any feedback on what you did wrong and what you did right. Because you're not allowed to have the questions at home, so we cannot send them to you. Um, so. Some people think that that's difficult, they don't get any feedback. Um, we are working on a solution, we can give feedback on the category, which were good or which were a little bit less good. Like some people are very good at uh, ACL, and other people are good at multilingual. <coughs> um, uh, the feedback can be made maybe between the, the people who have passed the exam, so they can talk, have a Exchanges maybe on, um, uh, but I know it's a bit difficult. You know. Yes. Yeah. Well, we, we have some rules for the exam. And like I said, it's not allowed to have any devices taken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the rules is also not to talk about the questions outside of the exam room. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because okay. otherwise, okay. when people are start talking about the questions and posting them on Facebook, like, no, no, no. oh, I think this was a very difficult no, no. question. I answered this, it's wrong, yeah, of course. and then all the questions end up somewhere we don't want to. <coughs> so we try to get everything in the room. Uh, so that in that way, we don't encourage people to talk about the questions here in the coffee room. Or, uh, uh, I know, it can be frustrating when you have 79, and you actually want to know the, the one question. But Are you working towards yeah. uh, like results by category? Uh, we're thinking about it. I think you're very wise. Just, you know, it's a level of, you know, this is where you should study. Yeah, I, I, you have to spend 40 hours a week on it, but every kind of help uh, is, is helpful. So, um, well, the rest of the teams are uh, the exam teams. They make up the questions, so um, you have to be friends with them. Okay. Give them some extra beers and things like that. And <laughs> Yeah. Well, Rick is in the exam team, he also makes the questions, so at every event he always has 10 beers around him and a lot of friends. And <laughs> after 10, he's telling the truth. Yeah, well, it's, it's about 21, but okay. before he reaches 21, I'll drag him out. So. <laughs> no, but it's, uh, well, we try to keep the questions in, in a very close group. You, you can probably understand uh, all the risk if, if we don't. That's also our main challenge for translations, because when we have 12 languages, it means uh, 12 people who translate, plus 12 who will check the translations, uh, and perhaps 12 other people who control everything. So then you have a lot of people, and we don't, uh, at this point, we, we don't have them. So it's, we have to find a balance between uh, the number of people um, to provide the risk uh, of, of leaking. Um, then we've got operations team, they do all the contracts, the submissions of exams, they have contact with all the, the, the people, they organize. It's uh, 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 Luca Marzo is a team leader, a lot of people of you have probably heard of him. And my team is the marketing team, well actually I do nothing, I just talk about it. <laughs> and in this case I help uh, uh, Robert and, and Dave to organize the exam uh, in here. And I'm also the supervisor this afternoon, so it's, it's a little bit of uh, both. And of course, just like in, in, in uh, all other teams, all uh, community groups, 
Um, we need volunteers, so if you got some spare time left, please let us know. Since you were very, very quiet, this presentation, I'm not used to it. Normally I get a lot of questions. About the questions? <laughs> <laughs> about questions, about the questions, yeah, normally. Um, but if you have one, go ahead. Uh, so do you have a, a mock paper that people could go through? Sorry? Uh, but, but like um, a past paper? Or like, you know, a, a mock exam you can go through? No, I mean, instead of questions like if you do a you do past exams, sometimes they got the old papers. <laughs> uh, no. No. No paper? <laughs> no, no, I, I'm not talking about paper. I mean, an, an online one you can go and try one out. Is it no, not, 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 not really. No. No. The one made of the bad questions that didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, then everybody knows the bad questions, and yes. that doesn't present a quality. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, well, we talked about it. We have a test exam, like 10 questions, but it could be that someone thinks, okay, th these are very easy questions, I can pass without studying. But some people think, okay, these are very difficult, and, and well, we, we don't want to be judged on 10 uh, demo questions. But I, I understand why it's been talking about demo. Yeah. Well, we don't have a real demo in, in, in that case. But like I said, everything uh, we ask is in docs.joomla.org. So when you read the documentation very well, you can think of questions about it yourself. So when a a anything is explained about uh, ACL or how to, to set up multilingual websites, you can translate it into questions for yourself. So that's some kind yeah, of... This audience never reads the I saw someone RTFM. Uh -huh. I, I forgot who it was, but I think that's a strong message. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any other questions? Yeah? Uh, you told that uh, every Joomla uh, uh, version uh, needs a uh, optional exam for special, specific level. It's like law, but it doesn't matter. But do you think about uh, such a solution like uh, you uh, somebody can pass the exam or two not three. And uh, during the uh, next year, next two years, uh, she uh, should um, uh, give some presentation about different domains from exam or uh, uh, she should uh, participate from some friends like this. Uh, earn some points, for example, 10 points for one conference, and in the end of the year, he should get uh, 50 points. Okay. And don't, well, uh, don't we have pass a next uh, exam. Well, if you consider a solution like that, I, I, I have enough points for Joomla 4 and 5 already, uh, but it doesn't, mean, <laughs> it doesn't mean I know about the systems. So, well, I, I do think it's good that people talk about it. Uh, we are looking for ambassadors who can tell the stories at Jugs, at Joomla days. Uh, but we never thought of, of a point system to, to, to earn. Yes, but uh, I, I ask because uh, some other uh, organization, ISC Square, uh, uh, has uh, 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 implemented a solution like this. Okay. Yeah. We can always take a look at it. Well, it, it sounds interesting. I think we have a lot of ambassadors who are doing a, a new presentation every day to, to collect points. <laughs> we have to think about it. But if, if you have uh, ideas like that, we have an email address, uh, certification at community.joomla.org. Please send everything you think about. Could be a good idea for... For, for the future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think people who score 79 will do extra presentations, maybe. So. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Uh, yes. Uh, do you have any numbers about uh, how many people passed this exam already? Uh, yeah. Uh, are certificated now? Um, yes, I think the exact number is 101 of certified administrators because we reached the milestone two or three weeks ago. Uh, I don't know how many candidates we have. I think double, uh, about 200, I guess. 50% uh, <coughs> Yeah, well, the average is about 50%, but I know that the more we talk about the exam, people, uh, they're not starting to worry, but they say, okay, let me take a look at docs.joomla.org yeah. for certain, and 
then I have some extra knowledge and then I do the exam. So we see a, a climbing rate in that. So it's like 60, 70 percent is quite normal at this moment. So we have eight candidates today. I, I think uh, six will pass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm honest. <laughs> so the exam starts at uh, 2 o'clock? Uh, uh, we start preparing 2 o'clock ah, okay. because we have to install a safe exam browser. A lot of people already did it. Uh, you have to have an, uh, a profile at exam.doomna.org. Um, and we start exactly a quarter to 3. So we have about 45 minutes to prepare. And then we start it and it lasts until quarter past 4. And then it stops. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Thank okay. Yes, please. Does anybody reach 100 work? Me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, not yet. But I think that the highest mark was around 90... 1997, I think. Yeah. So, we haven't got the, the, the jackpot yet. <laughs> but if you want to know more about thinking in patterns, you can talk to do. So, well, if you don't have any uh, uh, other questions, I, um, I wish you a very pleasant day. I challenge you to take the exam in the next room. Uh, you can uh, make a profile on, until about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, yes, a little bit of time. You can spend an hour on docs.juma.org if you want. <laughs> and, well, if, if you, well that, that's, that's a real challenge. And uh, if, you, um, if you pass the exam, you're very lucky today. If you don't pass the exam, it, it's just you will good. Not be next time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is because you have the experience. You know what kind of question it is, and you have sponsored OSM with thirty-five dollars, which you can use on uh, very interesting projects or maybe your own team. So that's what I learned yesterday from Mike Demo when he did the financial things. So it's a win-win situation. So if you're not winning yourself, OSM wins, and everybody wins in the end. So thank you much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.